Yo, what's going on YouTube? Jake Cameo here from Core Gaming, and today we have a uh, special little op box opening here, one of the Legendary Collection Kaiba. Um, I noticed that we had not opened one of these yet on the channel, and for some reason I thought we had, so I went ahead and went and grabbed one of these so that we can go ahead and open this for you guys and see what we get. So hopefully we can get something really good, but uh, yeah, so we'll see. Alright, so now that we get the plastic off, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Ooh, ever so slowly. Ha ha ha. Alright, so obviously we have the little pack here that comes with a few of the cards. Um, I'm sure you guys have probably more than likely already seen all this by now, but just in case. Just in case you came to us for your Yu-Gi-Oh goodness and all good Yu-Gi-Oh goody needs and all that. So anyway, uh, Goddess of Sweet Revenge, which is actually a pretty decent hand trap if you have nothing else going for you. <laughs> you basically have to have no cards for this card to be of any use, but it is pretty decent if that is the case. So, And then we have the King of D, so this super good card in uh, blue eyes now. We have Destruction Dragon, super cool card. Um, I'm a big fan of the... Um, the uh, Legendary Dragon uh, arc in Yu-Gi-Oh! The uh, Seal of Ori Kalkos and whatnot, it was super good, super good arc. Um, and then we have Dragon Revival Rhapsody. Super cool, got the, the nice little uh, triple blue eyes heads back there. Like the ocean water, super cool. Got the King of D in the middle there, super good card. And then we have Loop of Destruction, which is basically uh, Konami's way of saying uh, yeah, you can kind of have uh, Ring of Destruction, but not at three. <laughs> so, and then we have uh, the three packs here. So we have one, two, and three packs. So then obviously we have other goodies underneath. Let's move that out of the way here. And we have a fantastic... Uh, playmat if I can get it out of the box. I'm just gonna have to hoofa. Okay. So oh, don't fall. Okay. So we have a fantastic playmat here. I'm not gonna be able to get the entire thing, I don't think, but I might be able to like breeze by a bit. So we have like legendary collection Kaiba, cool Kaiba thing on the back. Um, and then on the other side we have the uh, Loop of Destruction, um, the Revenge, and the King of D. And it's got all the little uh, card zones and everything on this side. And it's actually really, really good. It's got a really good feel to it. Um, it's almost like a film feel. Uh, I don't know if that makes any sense. It's not like the film in a camera, but it's like, it's not like slippery and everything like that. Like it's, it's really nice. So it's, it's definitely one of the best. Um, best play mats that Konami has given us themselves um, not like the rubber mats and stuff like that but like in like starter decks and all that stuff this is definitely the best mat that they've given us so far um, in mats like that so definitely really cool really cool mat there but let's go ahead and get into the nitty-gritty of it with the three mega packs we've got 10 cards per pack and they are all going to be um, ultra rare and secret rare so, go ahead and open this first pack for you guys. See what we get. Alright, so starting off, we have Dark Armed Dragon, which is really, really good in um, uh, Virus decks, the Darkest Diablos decks. Super good card. Then we have a Defusion classic card from the TV show. Then we have a Tyrant Wing, super good card for. Um, um, 
Fang of Critias, I believe is his name. Fang of Critias uh, decks. Super good card. Then we have uh, Heavy Mech Support Platform. So we have a lot of Kaiba's cards, by the way, in this set, obviously, because it's based after Kaiba. And we have a couple, uh, we have, there are very few, but there are like really old cards like this, which are super cool, uh, super cool throwback cards. And then we have uh, Z Metal Tank. Lovely, lovely card there. And we have Thunder Dragon. Classic card, classic card. Along with XYZ Dragon Cannon. Now, I'm a huge fan of this card, but I'm not a fan of the alternate art here. Like, this is the second artwork that they've had for this card, and I'm not a fan of this. Just because, to me, this looks really silly, and it doesn't look as cool as it used to in the old art. But it's still really nice to have it in, like, an ultra rare and stuff like that, so. Then we have Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. A very classic card indeed. And then we have Delinquent Duo, which is actually banned, but maybe, maybe they will unban it in the future. So, that was the first pack, so let's go ahead and go on to the second pack. We have Priestess with Eyes of Blue. We have Card of Demise. Fantastic, fantastic card. Very, very good card for draw support. So, and then we have Blue Eyes White Dragon. And I believe, don't, don't quote me on this, but I believe that they have every artwork other than the, the recent movie, uh, uh, Dark Sides of Dimensions, something like that. I, th I think they have every other artwork other than that one. So... Um, you can get the original Blue Eyes artwork, which is what I want. I want. I think I have one more to get all three of them from this set. Um, and then there's the um, the second artwork, and then the third artwork, uh, which I believe was this one. And then they have the artwork with the uh, the Earth behind it as well, I believe. So super super cool stuff. Uh, then Mirror Force Dragon, another uh, Fang of Critias card. And we have VW Tiger Catapult. Yeah, Rider of the Storm Winds. And Mirror Force, which is actually pretty relevant in this uh, this format. Um, Mirror Force is just a classic card that just doesn't seem to want to go away from Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> it's always been pretty relevant. And we have Cloning. Very cool, very cool. And we have Melody of Awakening Dragon. Search out those uh, blue eyes from your deck. And then we have Lullaby of Obedience, which is another decent card. Um, you can pay 2,000 life points and do some stuff uh, there, like a um, declare card. And, uh, your opponent basically has to add it to your hand or special summon it to your side of the field, pretty much. It's super good. Um, yeah, so. Anyway, last pack, last pack. So, so far, in my personal opinion, the best card we've gotten is Card of Demise. So let's see if we can beat that in this pack. And the hand traps, uh, the Ash Blossom, um, the Ghost Ogre, and the Ghost Reaper all come in this set, along with Droll and Lockbird, so you can definitely get all of those as well. So let's see if we can get at least one hand trap. Ooh, Secret Rare Trade-In, very nice. I have White Hole. These are some cards that I wish did not come in the set. I wish something else came in the set, because they have like White Hole that kind of... Uh, Blocks Dark Hole, and they have, I think, Raigeki and Monster Reborn stopping cards as well. But, I mean, it just, it's not very competitively viable, I suppose. Which, I know some of the other cards aren't as well, but they're kind of throwback cards. But this, uh, to me, this isn't even a throwback card. This is just kind of like, okay, what else can we put in there, you know? Anyway, moving on. We have Vampire Lord. Now, I remember this card from back in the day as well, and I believe I, I'm 99% positive that Kaiba did play this card at some point. I want to say maybe in the Battle City arc, maybe, but I don't think he played it very often. He may have played it once or twice. We have Spell Reproduction. This is a decent card, decent card. 
We have Dragoonity Ducks. And Fiendish Chain, which is actually a pretty decent card as well. Don't sleep on it, guys. Don't sleep on it. Ring of Defense, which that combo was very good back in the day. The Ring of Destruction and Ring of Defense, super good combo back in the day. And we have the Fang of Critias, super cool. Fang of Critias. Ooh, Dragon Master Knight. Awesome, awesome. And Loop of Destruction in Secret Rare. So the, the cards that we opened up in the uh, first little pack... Uh, all of these cards, they all come in Secret Rare as well in the uh, packs. So that's something that you can look forward to as well. You can have them in not only uh, Ultra Rare, but Secret Rare, R Secret Rare as well. So that's going to do it for this short little box opening. I just noticed that we didn't have uh, one of the Kaiba sets opened on the channel, which for some reason I thought we did. So I went ahead and uh, picked up one of those and uh, decided to open it for you guys. So yeah, so let me know if you guys like the video down in the comment section below. Uh, comment down below with your comments and criticisms in the comment country. And uh, hit that like button if you like the video. And if you guys want to subscribe and join the Ojama family, we are a mighty big family and we, growing, we are growing every day thanks to you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh,